everyone. This is the David Goodman Reality and Truth Show. I'm your host today, Benita Lambert, and this is my co-host, Donna Bourne. How you doing today, Donna? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Wonderful. Happy to be here. And I love having her as my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be here too, Ben. Okay, great, great, great. So um, I just want to say, um, to start the show off, talk about COVID-19. How could we not talk about COVID-19? I know, right? The last time I checked, like, we have, like, 42.3% of adults fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And I think somewhere near 60% of the people are vaccinated with at least one vaccine. So that's a major accomplishment. And yes. me personally, I feel like I'm getting back to some type of normalcy. Because uh, I've, I've been a few places without a mask, <laughs> not the grocery store or anything like that. But um, keep up the good work and uh, we'll get there. We'll get there no matter what comes our way. Right, Donna? Yes. Let me share this with you, Ben. Yesterday Please. I go to um, New York and as I, you know, get out the vehicle, I realize, you know, peop New York is look like it's not the same because um, people just walking around and it's not that crowded anymore. Oh, yeah. I realize that it's not that crowded and there are few people that are walking around without masks. Then here goes my phone, beep, 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 beep. I am exposed with COVID. So I'm, I'm entering to a location where there is COVID. Oh, so this on your phone, warning. you can set it up. So, oh, yes. how do you do that? Tell our audience how you do that. Yes, Is that app or something? No, typically, um, if you have an iPhone, I'm not sure about a um, Excuse us. smartphone, <laughs> but an iPhone, it automatically come to you and ask you, you know, if you want to, you know, sign up for this, if you just click agree and, and it just accept you. So whenever you get exposed, it give you a beep. So it's like a free app? So it's not an you, app. It's something you, that I think is something that the, um, comes from the... D, you, the um, contract? Or? No, like the, the oh, COVID okay. center. Okay, CDC, yeah. CDC. I think it's something from oh, there okay. that they release that, um, you know, just to track people back in the days when the COVID was very bad. So it's still happening. So um, I how did it come to you though? On a, like a text message or email? As soon as or? You, no, it just comes up. Like for example, I don't understand. You, <laughs> like for example, uh -huh. you just pick up your phone to make a, a call. That's mm -hmm. the first thing you see on your phone. Then you hear a beep. You hear a beep comes on your phone, and it will constantly beep in. If you are moving towards the 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 the, the, the location where they they um, exposed with COVID. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that on my phone, but I don't have an iPhone, so I can't see the CDC just giving that to folks with an iPhone. I mean, well, you know, that's like just giving it to Democrats I'm not, or I'm not Republicans. Sure. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm not sure, it really, because even my friend, she, her <laughs> little daughter, um, she's 10 year old, mm -hmm. and um, she was with her dad, and they, her dad take her to have, um, um, you know, dinner and so forth. And she started crying that her phone telling her that she's exposed with, you know, with, with, it, with it. I think that's a good feature. I think it's a great feature. So mm -hmm. if you're out and um, you have the iPhone, you just get, it comes to you on your phone and you answer yes or no. I, yeah. I don't know how the message comes to you. I'm still a little it confused just, it about just, that. It just pop up. It just, <laughs> just, just like pop you up have on your alert. phone, like a like a news break or something. No, it's like an alert. Like an oh, like an amber yeah. alert. Okay. Yeah. Now I got it. I had to get that in my mind. I'm sorry. I'm very analytical. I couldn't understand <laughs> what you were saying. <laughs> so it comes to you like an amber alert. It's just like an alert. Oh, and okay. It, you know, sometimes like if your phone wants to update, yep. and you see first thing you see is the update, your phone needs oh. to update. That's how it comes on your phone. So there's no way you cannot see it because that's the first thing and you have to click off it before you can do nothing on your phone. Okay. Yes. All right, I understand. I haven't seen it um, and if I did, maybe I ignored it. Maybe I have it and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, when it comes to these phones, I do miss a lot of things. But um, that's a great feature to have. So if you come in contact or coming in contact with anybody within six feet, it beeps yes. and, hey, always have a mask in like, your pocket. What that's what I got to say. Yeah, because you never know. Even though, you know, if you're 
it, you know, the rules now are if you're fully vaccinated, then you don't need a mask whether you're inside or out. But I feel like, you know, if I'm standing near somebody and I know they have COVID, I'm going to put on my mask anyway. Because oh, this system got me so paranoid now. I know, I'm like, right? it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> then, um, uh, one doctor was saying that, you know, um, that we must just go out and enjoy yourself. Those, especially those who vaccine, you, once you're fully vaccinated, just go out, enjoy yourself, use wisdom. She said use wisdom. Mm -hmm. So bring a mask with you. So because yeah. you never know who will take the vaccine from who don't. So just do the right thing. Yep. Well, I always bring mine at work because I know some people definitely don't and never will. Yes. So whenever I go into the office, I have my, my mask on. And if they're, if those folks are not there, then I don't put it on. Right. So anyway. All right. So, um, I just want to say I had a really great weekend last weekend. I'm not going to let the devil steal any more of my happiness. <laughs> I'm telling you because <laughs> I oh, have God. so much to be grateful for. I just want mm. to take a moment <laughs> and just thank God for my family, my friends, and everything that I have. And what I'm, what I'm doing at this very moment is I'm focusing on what I have and not focusing on what I don't have or, you know, the little things that go wrong. You got to take something positive out of everything. Everything. we had a situation this weekend, but we had a beautiful, I'm having a grandbaby girl, and uh, we had a beautiful, beautiful wedding shower, and my uh, grandbaby's mama, <laughs> that's a good way to say it, right? <laughs> yeah. Baby mama, grandbaby yeah. mama, right? Yeah, that's what it is. They're not married. <laughs> So anyway, mama. my grandbaby mama, um, she is so blessed. She was showered with all types of gifts, money, family, extended family, a boyfriend that loves her, that goes above and beyond, and, you know, gives her everything that she wants. And it was just a beautiful moment. And then everybody came back to my house afterwards nice. and opened presents for like four hours. I honestly... Like in my living room and my dining room, it was, you couldn't even walk. And so I'm claustrophobic and I just kind of like, at one point when there was like so many gifts, cause she went to open everything and came back to my house and everybody that was coming back to my house threw gifts in a car and drove them back there and just dumped them in the living room. Then I had a room full of gifts that people were mailing to my house. So she should have everything that she needs for this baby. And they're in two separate places, so they needed duplicates. But anyway, getting back to my story, there were gifts everywhere. I couldn't even see my carpet. And so I got claustrophobic and I had to run out of the house for a moment. <laughs> Wow. So that's how blessed she is. I couldn't even walk in my own living room. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful moment. And um, she's so blessed. And, you know, I don't know about her friends because one of her friends shared some unhappy news with her or some, you know, some misinformation. Yes, that's what I'm going to, you know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it fake news. <laughs> One of her news. fake friends, yes. <laughs> I would call it fake friends and fake news, shared some unhappy news with her. And she got upset. She's eight months pregnant. She's hormonal and not thinking about the whole story. And she let it get the best of her. And so did I, because I was telling the story. But now realizing how lucky and how blessed we are, we almost just lost 600,000 people to COVID. Why are we whining about something a fake, you know, a fake friend told you mm. about fake news sitting at another table that did not get the whole story right? I mean, you know, people like that, that's why I, my circle is very, very small. And whenever I run into people like that, it just gets smaller because I do not allow my friends or so-called friends to steal my happiness under any circumstances whatsoever. I could take a joke just as good as the next person. But you know when people, the, I know the difference when people are laughing at me and when people are laughing with me. And you gotta realize that there's a lot of jealousy out there. Mm -hmm. You know, friends today are not the way they used to be. A lot of friends are like enemies. I had a friend where we were friends 20 years and we were like best friends as long as she needed me. 
And then mm. when I needed her, that friendship was over. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to say, you know, I love my family. I love my grandbaby mama. And, you know, yeah, we're going to have some differences. But, and I'm going to speak my mind. The one thing I would like is to, if you have a problem with me, come directly to me. Don't be telling nobody else because I'm not about the drama. I'm too old for that. You That's know. Right. <laughs> I just don't want to be mind. bothered with stuff like that. That's it. <laughs> getting too younger. Heck getting yeah. Getting younger. Focus. I'm trying to focus on my health, you know, trying to eat healthy, trying to exercise so I can I run know. after my little grandbaby girl. I want to be able to. Right. I want to be sitting up. in a rocking chair and not being able to move or whatever. <laughs> you want to be able to, to run around with her. Exactly. And, and enjoy her. And speaking of eating health, there's so many healthy things that you can do. Yes. Um, and that can help your system out. You know, eating right, drinking the right things. You know, there's a lot of herbal teas yes. that you could drink. Tell us a little bit about some of the teas that are good for you. Are is there anything like that I can drink? Like if I'm getting emotional. No, <laughs> That's under my if I can if I'm getting emotional, you know, is there a certain kind of tea or flavor you know how lavender is good for sleeping yeah right so you know if you have a like if you have a problem insomnia and you have a problem sleeping you know what i mean well, they say use the lavender candles or lavender air fresheners because mm -hmm. it helps you sleep so that's what i mean by that you know the herbal raspberry raspberry what does raspberry, raspberry do i like raspberry raspberry is good for what they have uh for what? It, it, it calm you. To me, for me personally, it calm me. So like my menopause? Like I won't be going through menopause no more? <laughs> it calm your mind. Your mind. It calm, oh, okay. it calm down your mind. Let me get my because son some raspberry. You, when, um, Lord. <laughs> I'll put that on my list. It's so calming and I, I love it. I love it. It worked for me. Mm -hmm. I remember, um, a friend of mine came. I'm not going to call any name. A, a friend of mine called, um, <laughs> came by me and he, Pastor Mateo. Oh. Yes, and I'm telling you. Want me you, to say it? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, I'm telling you, girl, raspberry did it for me. I could not drink raspberry at first, and I'm telling you, that thing helped me. So why couldn't you drink it at first? You just don't like raspberries? I, never, or? I, I didn't like it, but then I was going through some herbal stuff, and they tell, they, they on there said, oh, Raspberry is good to calm the nerves. To calm, oh my yes. goodness! And I said, let me try it. Mm -hmm. So I go to the herbal store and I and I get the um the car the, that raspberry wow. and it worked for me. That sounds like that'll be good for people that have anxiety. You know, I'm not saying it's going to take the anxiety away. Yeah, but, but if it, it helps, you some, some kind of smoothness. Yeah, calmness. if it calms you down. Well, with my menopause, I, I'm very emotional. I'm like on an emotional roller coaster. The first thing is admitting that you have a problem, which is menopause, and definitely it's a problem. You have these unexpected outbursts and all kind of hot sweats and everything. So a lot of things happen. So oh, you it. have to first put in your mind that you know what's going admit on with it. your body. Admit, admit that you're going through menopause. And then number two, you know, how are you going to handle it? What are you going to do about it? You're not going to alienate people around you. Yes. So you're going to try to do something to help yourself. And so I'm going to start drinking raspberry, just herbal raspberry teas. It and helped calm you. What helps? Anything help you go to sleep? Because I like to do natural there's stuff. A, there's a lot of um, herbal stuff out there, mm -hmm. but it's just that I don't have the names of them to tell you, but okay. there's a lot. But... Um, if if you want to know i can yeah. you can reach out to me okay they can reach out to me and ask me and i will send you information if you right. need right but the information is free the yes. information is free so free information um, i can you know so what you're saying there's a lot of herbal teas out Not there free. one to calm you one to yes. help you sleep if, even for the young ladies Young girls that have in the menstrual um, period PMS and the, I'm telling you, <laughs> Lord, this there are herbal tea there um, product there that can help them that flushes their system. Um, there are um, people who are going through blood clot um, in their in their um, 
the veins and stuff, mm -hmm. you have tea can help that. You cannot sleep, you have herbal tea can help you. Um, even with bloating, that's, that's a good one. That helps me a lot. Bloating, you have herbal tea. So there are free information out there. If you want free information, mm -hmm. you can reach me at that below um, email. What about for cognitive? <laughs> uh, I'm just asking because I take I take um, a 100% plant-based vitamins. The only chemicals that are in the vitamins are to put it in capsule form. It's mm. all made from plants, all plants. natural, and that's and one it's good board. for cognitive. You know, that's because good. at my age, and I am 60 years young and proud to be. 60 years because uh, <laughs> where I came from a lot of people just did not make it so I am proud to be here and I'm happy about my age I don't know why of women course. yeah yeah You're, I'm happy I'm, to be alive <laughs> I'm 50 and I'm proud <laughs> so anyway at my age I realized that and in my business I do Medicare and long-term care and so a lot of people have Alzheimer's or dementia. And sometimes there's nothing, absolutely nothing you could do about it. But I feel like right now we have way more information oh, yes. than we had yes. way back then. And so if there's something you can start working on early, like say for example, you know, somebody in my family, we have Alzheimer's in my family, and I know that. There's a lot more information and, you know, chemicals and things that you could do to prolong it. It, it. You may not be able to stop it, but, you know, just like diabetes. I know diabetes is in my family. I know my mom got it. But, you know, way back then, they ate all the pork you could get. <laughs> Seriously, they it's didn't so do the diet thing yeah, because... Didn't. We didn't have the information. So I, you know, I still eat pork. I eat all kind of meat, you know. I eat a it's lot of amount. vegetables. I eat a lot of fruit. But I also exercise because I understand that if you build muscles, you know, the diabetes has somewhere to go. The sugar has somewhere to go. Yes. And that's the key. But if they had known that then, I'm sure they worked really hard. I know my mother worked really hard. Yeah. But... Working really hard and exercising is different. It's two different things. Oh, it's two stuff. different things. And I keep telling my husband that too. <laughs> because because the type of job that he does, walking up and down, up and down, yep. he thought it. I said, that's a different exercise. You need to work out. Well, steps are good. You got the Fitbit? Give him a Fitbit. Steps are good. Steps are good. Steps but are good, needs, but you need, needs, a, yes. A man need weight. Mm -hmm. He needs to lift some muscle. He builds some muscle with weight. <laughs> Woman. Well, I tell us what you like, Donna. <laughs> Tell us what you like. <laughs> muscle, muscle man. I like muscle. Mm -hmm. I, like a, I like a man with muscle. Mm -hmm. Not too much, though. I get it. I get it. Yeah, because, um, you know, we have that information, and let's utilize it. I give it to my, like, um, when I sit down with my clients, and I sit at kitchen tables for a living, and I absolutely love what I do, we always go... We always talk about the conversation of long-term care because most people don't think about it until it happens. And when it happens, it's catastrophic. You know, it, you, it turns your whole world upside down if you don't have a plan. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. What would you say to someone who keeps saying um, they don't want any ins life insurance because life insurance is, a, um, is robbery? and um, life insurance is, um, they're stealing their money. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that person? I would say to that person, call Vanita, sit down with her, and get the full meaning. Sit down with a licensed professional and have them explain to you all the different features and benefits of all the different types of life insurances that are available today. Back in the day, life insurance was just if you died. Right now, life insurance, you can set up a tax-free retirement with a certain type of life insurance if the UL is funded correctly. I know because I set those up for my sons because I don't think they're gonna have social security when my kids get to be 65 or 70. So what I've done in advance is I have set up a tax-free retirement 
using life insurance to fund it because life insurance is the only non-taxable contract in the world. Mm -hmm. And you may not need, you know, a million dollars worth of life insurance, but you will need a million dollars worth of life insurance to take advantages of, to take advantage of the tax benefits. So say you have a bunch of assets. Say you have, um, you know, $500,000 401k, mm -hmm. you know, and you're about to retire and you turn, you know, 72. What's going to happen when you turn 72, you're going to have to start taking RMDs. And a lot of people don't realize that on all qualified money, whether it's, um, you know, a, a 401k, 403b, 457, you know, you know, an IRA um, with the exception of a Roth, you know, SEPs, all of that stuff, you will have to take required minimum distributions because in that bucket, that's considered qualified money. Qualified money is also known as money that you have not paid any taxes on. Mm -hmm. And so when you get 70, when you turn 72, it used to be 70 and a half. They just upped it by 18 months. So when you get 72, Uncle Sam's knocking at the door. He's mm -hmm. like, okay, time to pay the piper. I need to get my tax money. I need and my what, money. What happens, you, they don't make you pay it all at one time. Yes. They start out with 4%. So mm -hmm. they take that, that bucket where you haven't paid any taxes on it, and the first year is 4%. Um, and it goes up a few points, I mean, a few, you know, point basis every single year. So by the time you're in year 10, you know, you're taking out 8 9%. And let's say, and that money is in the market. So, you know, this is, what I, this is where I come in and help people provide an income stream for the rest of their lives. Say you start at 72 and you're taking out 4%, and then when you're 82, you're taking out, you know, 8 9%. And let's say we have another 2000, 2008, where the market crashes mm -hmm. and everybody lost all that money, you're still going to have to take out that percentage even on a down year. Mm -hmm. And this is how people run out of money. Wow. So it is just, it's key to get the information. It's key to learn what you can do to, to um, create a, an income stream for the rest of your life. And in some cases, we deal with some of the uh, companies that the second largest financial company, you know, which is uh, Allianz, we can generate a lifetime income stream that increases with inflation if it's suitable for the person. So you gotta get the information. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free, you know, we're sitting at the table, I, I'll bring my own water, and uh, we just have a conversation. Um, it's just a, a really casual conversation. Here's, you know, here's your now money, here's your emergency money, here's your retirement money. How is this earmarked? What, what's this nest egg for? What is the 401k for? You know, you plan to travel the world and we, you know, we set up a plan on mm -hmm. what you need to live on, your cost of living, your now money is considered your cost of living. So that money goes into, you know, your checking account and you pay all of your bills, entertainment, you know, heat, light, card note, and all that stuff. That money goes into a black hole because you're never gonna get any return on it. So that's just cost of living. Then the second circle is your emergency money. Whatever your cost of living amount is, say your cost of living is a thousand bucks a month, you need to have three to six months worth or mm -hmm. more in your emergency account. So you want three to six thousand dollars in that account. And that's just for emergencies. That's not for shopping or vacations, just emergencies. So when you get an emergency, you take the money out of the emergency fund, put it in the checking, and you know, fix the roof or whatever emergency you have. And then your nest egg is, you know, that's your retirement money. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't want to, usually when you retire, you don't want to risk that money. So, you know, a good thing to do is to roll the money from the market to a financial contract that has no loss. The worst you could ever do, and say it's a 2008 when everybody lost their money, 
they lost 10, 20 points or whatever, the worst you would do in 2008 is get a big fat zero. That means you would not lose, <laughs> lose a that dime. Time. That's when zero is the hero. Okay, you don't lose anything. These financial contracts are based on like the staircase. You can only go upstairs. If the market goes up 2%, then, then you get the 2%, okay? If it goes up 3%, you get the 3% and you're on the second stair. But then the next month, say the market goes down no, 10%, then you stay. stay right there. So that's the key because when you retire, you don't want to take all that risk. And then you might want to have a small, you know, a small or separate account where you might want to take a risk, but you don't want to take it with your entire retirement because right. you could lose. It's a gamble. Oh. So yes. getting just life insurance, um, I would definitely, definitely talk to a licensed professional and see what you need, I why you need it. Life insurance is good to, it's the easiest and the most efficient way to transfer assets. It's non-probatable, it's non-taxable, it just goes right over to the next generation. So whoever this friend is, and, and you listen to other people, it's and other really people's different. situations are different, so your situation is different than mine. Exactly, you know? exactly. I'm having a grandbaby, so you know what? I should take my son's money and put it in her name. <laughs> That's oh, how he's Lord. straighten up and fly, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and that might happen anyway. All what? you need, all you need, is a social security number. You don't get that That's until it. until you're about Maybe three born. months. Yep. So, three months? um, oh. I think three or four months. Yeah. Yep. We're on that term. Yep. So, any other questions? Are you excited? Huh? Are you excited? You I am so excited about this baby. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Um, this is always so much fun, but we're almost out of time, Donna. I know, Lord. <laughs> so any anymore. last words, any more questions before we go? No, you, okay. you, you answered my question. And, um, and I probably went too far because that's my passion. I just I go know. on. You I'll go from go one thing old, to the other to the other. The well, old book. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, yep. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's been wonderful. We'll see you next week. And yes. so this is the David, David Goodman, Goodman Reality and Truth Show. show. And, and we're on, on your, your side. side. <laughs>